played a quicker one. Najibullah Zadran couldn't read it. And the finger is raised from the umpire. Well, straight away bringing out that uh, the impact was, was in line. It was going on to hit the middle stump or so. No correction of the bat on that occasion. So very good decision from the umpire. So straight onto the pad, no problems. The the bowler was delighted, and so was the wicketkeeper behind to provide him the support. And it's a huge wicket, two back-to-back -back wickets. It's 100 for five. Najibullah Jadran, the crisis man, has been removed. the former captain captain of Afghanistan cricket team in the World Cup in 2019 in one day World Cup uh, fantastic all-rounder plenty of experience can strike the ball really well he plays seam and spin really well and someone who can provide those lusty blows to the team with, with Azgar Afghan in there Hamid Gulbadi Naib a good cricketer all-rounder batsman and bowler but I have to give credit to Balburni he got the huge decision to bring Simi Singh because of Afghanistan batsmen love of spinners especially Nabi and he put an off tracker he can punish that ball everywhere he wants to but he got out and then Najibullah Zadran for needless shot straight away on reverse want to improvise to relieve the pressure but he gives his wicket also Simi Singh on hat trick Now he gets a full toss, he's going to take a single here. What a over, what a fantastic over. Game changing over coming in from Simi Singh, 15 overs gone, it's 101 for five. Well, one area where they have been consistent, Gurbaz and Ghani providing good start, like like the first two matches, getting good start, but after that, wickets falling at regular interval. Two wickets coming from the previous over. This is a time to play sensible cricket. 42 to win from 30, so they need a boundary in between also. Gulbadi Naib is on one, but Asghar Afghan, the senior pro, the captain of the side, on to 19 of 16. He knows the situation. He is very good at analyzing the situation. That's how Nabi, uh, Najib, trying to play the reverse sweep there was no connection with the bat or glove straight in front he knew he knew straight away the umpire raised his finger in a flash beautiful delivery is getting movement and he's troubling the batsman here we love to watch this bowling from McCarthy he's bowling with typical condition of England a way shape from Kulbadi Nayab, he's not a big shuffle batsman, loves to play only stuck in his crease, so into his final over, his fourth over, he got one massive wicket, short delivery this time, pulls it, until Azhar Avan is in the crease, Afghanistan have big hope to win the game. Good. win the series of the third Islamic Bank of Afghanistan T20 International he is the biggest threat so they don't want to give wicket to him and after that they can afford to attack other bowlers with a little bit less experience he is someone who's bowling with a beautiful rhythm looks like getting wicket of every bowl the way he's bowling and the movement that he's getting so this is a crucial crucial phase in the play striking looking to play a big hike through the on side living dangerously the captain one thing is very important today i have seen they change the bowlers and fielders in the squad and batsmen and they're doing their jobs really well like from afghanistan naveen in Kass, and from ireland you can see mccarthy on fire he's showing his all his character his pace his skills and he's giving his under person for this game to win for Ireland. Can he be a hero 
for his team. If this over, he dot the three balls, the situation will be very interesting for the next four overs. You can see some changes from Balberni. Excellent captaincy in the series so far. Because that's why he bring Kevin O'Brien in circle, one of his favorite area mid wicket. He all the time targets. Also playing the declarative to the mind of the batsman, also by slowing down the pace, by, by changing pace of the game and changing the fieldsman about what options that he wants to take here. Aggressive option or wicket here. Or tennis ball bouncer. And he's going to take a single here. So this over, two more deliveries to go. Can he get one more wicket to make it difficult for Afghanistan? Searching for this win for many years. Look at this one. Again, getting of the two end of the bat. Yeah, excellent bowling from McCarthy because he reduced his pace. And you can see Paul Sterling giving his all experience to McCarthy that where he has to ball. And we can see second captain of the island in this game. How much desperately they want to win this game. Again, short delivery. Looking for two. Pulls it. And straight away, no from Gulbadin because they don't want to lose the wicket from here. And it will be like the last proper pair of the batting side for Afghanistan. After that, Rashid, he can bat. But he all the time looking for an ninja cuts in shots. And uh, so Azar will be the man to lead the team to win the series and win the game for Afghanistan. The most critical delivery coming up next. Can he get a wicket of Afghan to enliven the hopes of his side to win from this juncture of the game? Didn't get enough runs, but the seamers brought them in. He wants a change in the field now. Again, finally coming up in the circle. They're dropping the fieldsman on the boundary ropes at the long off position on the offside. They need a wicket here. Can he provide one more wicket? This is a critically poised match here. Here is McCarthy to Afghan, and he plays it sensibly. He works through the onside. He's going to come back for the second or not. He settles for a single. They need another 38 runs to win from 24. Interesting phase and thrilling phase ahead of us. 16 overs gone. It's 105 for 5 Afghanistan. Yes, at this stage, Ireland were 119 for 5. Afghanistan are 105 for 5. But looking at the equation, it's 38 required off uh, 24 for Afghanistan. The good news is the skipper is there. It was that close. Who's and ours there? Let's wait for the decision signal from the umpire. No signals. There was bat involved there. Well, if at all, the utility and the all-rounders were talked about in the Afghanistan. Today is the day they'll need to come to the fore. It's been a very good comeback by... Island. The seamers have really come to the fore, McCarthy and Young, asking questions, keeping things tight, and all of a sudden Afghanistan are now looking for answers. Nicely bowled, that's a call. Not really, just going down leg reckon. Half hearted appeal. Yes, getting uh, singles of the first two deliveries of the 17th over. This is getting close. We haven't had a close finish in this uh, IBA Cup so far. Let's have a look at that. Oh, close. That looked close. Mikhail, that looked very close. And what's interesting is neither the wicket keeper nor the bowler appealed. Shot ball, pulls it. Has he cleared the field? Oh, he's been dropped. And that goes for a four as well. How costly will this be? You cannot drop Asghar Afghan. That is a very costly miss. Drama here at Greater Noida. As the momentum keeps shifting, a short delivery catching the batsman off guard. Not in control of that Asghar Afghan. Straight to the field. Oh, oh my God. How can you do that? 
Oh, these are the moments that change the course of a match. Asghar Afghan back in the dugout. 22 balls, 38 required. Anything could have taken place. But that went for a boundary. That should have been taken at this level. And uh, oh, just a di disappointing this for Ireland. I just wonder who's feeling the pressure more at this point in time. It looks like Asghar Afghan is just losing his momentum here. Ireland letting go of their chances. The age-old cliche, catches, win, matches. This should have been taken. This would have pretty much been the match as well. An off-cutter, slow off-cutter. Asghar Afghan with that pull. Oh, dear. Once again, goes for the big heave towards mid-wicket. He'll have to settle for a single. But absolute dramatic circumstances out here. Oh, absolute drama. If and buts. Had the wicket uh, gone, had the catch been taken, a lot of things might have changed. Yes, he's the one we are talking about. Uh, 112 for 5, Young. Last ball off his third over. To Naib, nicely played, punched to the fielder at a long off. Single to end the 17th over. Exciting over. Afghanistan, 113 for 5. 30 required of 18. Right then, match summary is so far of the IBA Cup 2020-30-20 international. 18 balls, 30 runs required for Afghanistan. Gurbaz scored 42. Asghar Afghan, the skipper, having a life now. Batting on 27 of 23, 30 required of 18. Neb on 4 of 6. There we go. Bal Paul uh, Sterling and uh, Andy Balburni having uh, a discussion as to how do we go ahead with uh, the remainder of the three overs. Joshua Little. Two overs to go. In his two overs, he's considered only 10 runs. So that's been good bowling by him, Mikhail, so far. The real test lies now. 30 of 18. Expect one of these batsmen to take the attack to the opposition. This is a very, very big moment in the game. This over will be very important, remember. Joshua Little left arm over the wicket. Sliced. Is the sweeper covers reaching for that one? No, he's not. What a brilliant start to the 18th over. Gulbadin Nai releasing the pressure with that all-important boundary. Much-needed one, much-needed boundary this time. Straying a slightly outside off stump. Gets uh, his bat onto it at an angle and that was very fine there. No sweeper cover. Four important runs. The leg side, white ball signals. Already five runs off the first ball of the only delivery that has been bowled in this over. And it looks like it's pressure on Ireland. And this is where the character and resolve of any youngster will be tested at the international level. Bowling to some of the most hard-hitting batsmen. Can he contain them? Slower this time, played towards mid wicket for a single. That won't hurt the Irishman much. Five runs coming off three, six runs coming off two deliveries, beg your pardon. So it's been a good start to this 18th over. Yes, Mikhail, and if only if ifs would have worked. Imagine if Asghar Afghan would have been out in the previous over, Ireland would have fancied their chances. But now, Asghar Afghan batting on 27 of 23, having a quick word with uh, Gulbadin Nai but the non-strikers end 24 required of 16 Joshua Little has bowled well so far considered uh, the boundary the first uh, ball of this over Chaitanya knowing Asghar Afghan he will not be interested in taking this match to the final over it's the 18th and the 19th over he will be targeting Joshua Little will have to bring out his best there's very little that he can do in terms of containing Af Asghar Afghan at the moment let me tell you was looking in a murderous mood at the moment. 
Looks like he'll be coming around the wicket into Asghar Afghan. Nicely played, but straight to the field. That covers there. That'll be a dot ball. It's the skipper playing to the skipper. Very good over so far now. All of a sudden, one dot ball has completely changed the equation. This is not as easy as it looks. Afghanistan has the batting depth. But can they produce it when they have the stacks against them? Yes, he'll be still continuing uh, around the wicket. Six runs conceded off uh, the first three deliveries of the 18th over. Coming around the wicket to Asghar Afghan, outside the off stump, Yorker, perfect delivery at this stage. We haven't seen the Yorkers this innings, but there it comes in the 18th over, outside the off stump. Yorker, very difficult for a batsman to score off that, marginal call. And a very good call as well, because the batsmen are shuffling in the crease. And the moment the batsman did that, that nice, well-directed Yorker, wide of the crease, just keeping... Asghar Afghan as well at bay at this point in time. What an over this is turning out to be. Joshua Little. Just walking across, straight to the fielder. Andrew Balboni, direct hit. Would have been close, not to happen though. Run taken by Afghan. 23 required of 13. Shy of the stumps over there, Balboni was eager to get that one stump to aim at but look at the backing up here by the fielder that ball was traveling Delany wonderful effort the words of advice coming in for Joshua Little this is the important ball 23 required of 13 Neb looking for the swing, it's a white ball. Way outside the off stump, Little is unhappy. But that'll be a white ball, an added run. What an over this has turned out to be. You've had wides, you've had Yorkers, you've had dot balls, you've had singles, you've had a four. Everything in this over to make it an absolute mixed bag. Just bordering again in that area of uh, uncertainty, but this time a little too wider. Both these batsmen can clear the field and clear the ropes at ease. Yes, he'll be planning to bowl in the same corridor. The sweeper covers as a deep backward point as well for the same reason. Outside the off stump, Yorkers. Outside the off stump it is and a dot ball. Good end to the over by Joshua Little. 18 overs Afghanistan, 121 for 5, 22 required of 12. IBA Cup 2020, the Islamic Bank of Afghanistan. The series, this trophy belongs to Afghanistan. But uh, can it be a whitewash is the question. First ball off uh, the second last over, outside the off stump. Sweeper covers, looking for the second run, not possible. Just a run, good start to the over by Ireland. Third man was up. The intention was there, but the execution was not absolutely there for Asghar Afghan. Trying to just play it over those two fielders inside the circle. We'll have to settle for a single. Tension is reaching its crescendo over here. Anti-climax, what looked like a regulation chase. And there, Hamid Hassan, he has left the comm box. And he's capturing some tense moments on the lens over there. <laughs> he looks tense as well. <laughs> Goes big towards mid-wicket, but he'll find the fielder, they'll settle for a single. So the boundaries are drying up over here, this is good bowling here by Ireland. Absolutely, Mikal, fabulous stuff by the Irishman so far, just two runs of this over. 20 required of 10, pressure mounting now, we'll have a look at those faces, Rashid Khan to come. He can clear the fence at ease, but he'll be nervous. 
the skipper on strike Asghar Afghan 29 of 27 20 required of 10 walks across but again does not connect will he look for the second run no chance there just a run he looks disappointed they need the big hit they need the home run Afghanistan Asghar Afghan has done it in the past Gulbuddin Naib in his last game got two sixes of the last two deliveries he faced in Afghanistan innings what a comeback here by Ireland. Staring down the barrel at one stage and back-to-back -back strikes in the middle. Oh, he's castled him. The timber has fallen. Craig Young strikes. You miss. I hit. Gulbadi Neb departs. Oh my God, what are we witnessing? Afghanistan in a spot of bother. L lost their plot midway as Ireland strike when it matters the most. Oh, what a delivery this by Young. Perfect hitting the middle stump. Uh, disturbing the timber. Nabi is unhappy. He'll have to walk back. But Ireland now will fancy their chances. It's uh, Gulbadin Naib who has to walk back for 10 runs of 11. Afghanistan 124 for 6. Afghanistan have not been defeated by Ireland since 2013. Is this the day? In comes the superstar, Rashid Khan. Did well with the ball in hand, as always. 48 matches, 149 runs. His best is 33. Neglect those figures of average, but he can clear the fence. Oh Yes, the helicopter can take off from Rashid Khan's bat as well. He punches above his weight, let me tell you, with the bat. He enjoys his batting. And he's done it in the past. What a contest. On song Craig Young against the mercurial Rashid Khan. Goes big, goes high, goes over mid off. Fielder coming underneath, drops in front of him. They'll quickly take a second run. Intention once again was they couldn't quite get the distance and elevation on that. It's all happening here at the Greater Noida Sports Complex, Afghanistan. With that chase, looking to go big. No follow through here, just trying to go over the infield. The fielder giving chase, turning back and running forward. No way close to that as uh, Rashid Khan completed too. Immediately field change, the mid-off has been pu pushed back to a long off. Let's see the delivery, looking for the big, huge swing straight to the fielder at long on. Oh, Brian there, just a run. Rashid Khan biting on three of two, but now in the last over, 16 required of six of uh, after 19 overs afghanistan 127 for six Sixteen required of six. Our island coming up with a victory here. It's 2-0 already in the series. Rashid Khan batting on three of two. Asghar Afghan, the skipper, the non-strikers and batting on 30 of 28. Sixteen required of six for Afghanistan. And the 19th over, six runs and a wicket by Craig Young. That was a top over, let me tell you. That's where the entire equation once again and the balance is tilted in favour of Ireland. Pressure on Rashid Khan. He's done it in the past. Young Joshua Little looked very impressive today. He may have gone wicketless, but 18 in three overs is testimony to the fact that he's asked questions and kept things tight. Afghanistan, can they prove their batting prowess in this match? Or can Ireland sneak out a win and ensure that they end on a high and avoid a whitewash in this T20 International Series? The crowd here are in for a treat. An exciting match. At some point of time, it looked like it's an easy win for Afga Afghanistan. Not to happen though now. 
doesn't look easy. Round the wicket comes Joshua Little. Uh, Rashid Khan plays it to the field at sweeper covers. That will just be a run. 15 required of 5 now, but for Afghanistan, good news because it's the skipper Asghar Afghan to take strike. Very intelligent bowling by Ireland. They have uh, just kept things so tight. They've bowled Yorkal and deliveries, kept it underneath the bat, kept it wider of the Afghanistan batsmen. Just not allowed them to play a free brand of cricket. What will be this delivery? Remember, Afghanistan will be trying the cow corner. Goes over the covers in the air. Field light sweeper covers running in. Two fielders converging under it. And thus, they have dropped the catch. The second life to Asghar Afghan. He gets two runs, more importantly. 13 required of four now. That's the kind of luck Asghar Afghan has been riding on. Once again, wide of the batsman. Goes for that big hit over covers. Does not quite get to it. Two fielders converging. Absolutely no coordination there. And you can take a look at that. That was mine, says Ball Bernie. But two more runs. That's the crucial part. What a match this is turning out to be. Goes for the big oik, over covers, has he connected well? No, this time it's Andrew Balbani who takes the catch. And Asghar Afghan who rode his luck will have to walk back now. Afghanistan have lost their seventh wicket. And now, looking under some pressure. It's been a struggle for Asghar Afghan in the middle today. He's not been looking to middle, he's not been able to rather middle the ball the way he did in the second T20 international. This time once again, a lot of power behind it but Unfortunately, failed to get it past Balberni at extra cover, who took a simple catch. Finally, a catch been taken by an Ireland fielder. Asghar Afghan departs for 32 of 30. It's 130 for 7. Another three deliveries left. 13 needed in three deliveries. And have the batsmen crossed? Yes, they have crossed, which means that uh, it'll be Rashid Khan on strike. So that's one encouraging sign for them. And KS Ahmed, what a debut for him this is going to be. What a time to walk in at. Big day for this uh, young guy there. Picked up wickets. His first T20 international contest. And now he's at the non-striker's end. Along with the legend of Afghanistan cricket, that's Rashid Khan. KS Ahmed, 19 years old. But on strike is Rashid Khan. 13 required of three. He might deny the singles because what is required now from the bat of Rashid Khan from Afghanistan's perspective is a four or a six. There we go, 13 required of three. Rashid Khan swings its way outside the off stump. Wide ball, pressure on Joshua Little. I just wonder who has more pressure this time. Is it the Afghanistan batsman or Joshua Little? That was a very poor delivery, let me tell you, but fair to understand. The nerves are playing on him at this point in time. And look at Rashid Khan, ready to go down on his knees to get the elevation on the ball. Yes, we'll be expecting it uh, outside the off stump. Backward point, short third man, sweeper covers, goes for the big hoik. In the air, fielder will watch it sail over him. Oh, what a shot this by Rashid Khan. Super striking. This is a shot to be remembered for every Afghanistan cricket fan. Under pressure, 12 needed to win of three. And Rashid Khan tees off over long on for a mighty six. Look at that. He just got a new bat recently. He posted it on Twitter and he was saying, I'm looking to make the most of it. And he's justifying his presence in the middle. One hit away from victory, Afghanistan. What a match. Oh yes, the crowd is absolutely loving it. They've come in large numbers. Six required from two. Ashik Khan outside the off-star. White ball again. Oh, Joshua Little is just losing his line there. Five to win from two now. Where do I bowl to Rashid Khan is the question right now. Joshua Little will be asking himself. Another widest delivery. And look at Rashid Khan, look at his eyes. He looks like a lion in the middle, just waiting to prowl and tame his opposition. Absolutely no nerves, no pressure shown by him.
Outside the off-stam, Yorker this time. Absolute no way, Rashid Khan could have got any bat on that one. Dot ball, good comeback by Joshua Little. Five required of one now. Mikhail, is there a super over coming in? What a contest between bat and ball. Batting of very high caliber, bowling of very high pedigree. Joshua Little, very early in his career, is producing some beauties as well. Right underneath the bat, five of one, a four will mean a super over. A six will mean Afghanistan, whitewash Ireland. And anything below that will mean Ireland emerge victorious in this encounter. Three results possible. And it has reached a situation where nerves, you can call this edge of the seat action. Chaitanya, edge of the seat action. And in fact, four will mean a super over here. Let me remind all of you as Five record of one. There we go. The climax of the IBA Cup 2020. Rashid Khan swings. Fielder there. Has he reached it? No, he hasn't. That's a one bounce four. Believe it or not, it's a super over coming in. The match is a tie at 142 for seven. Rashid Khan the hero and so is Joshua Little. No victory as of now. And this is going to be decided by a super over. The superstar of Afghanistan cricket, Rashid Khan, takes his team into a super over. A super batting effort here. But let's not forget, it's been a super bowling effort as well by Ireland to come back into the game. Anti-climax, pitched up delivery goes with that big, big... Wow, chest wide of uh, Simi Singh over there. He went through with that shot. At an angle between backward deep backward point and sweeper cover and what a way that champion will be in your frame very soon let me tell you Rashid Khan you beauty not just with the ball it's with the bat as well he bails Afghanistan out of trouble each time oh yes cricket Chacha is happy there Afghanistan at one point of time easy victory at one point of time difficult for them to get a victory and eventually getting the same number of runs Rashid Khan the superstar outside the off stump with the new bat that he had purchased and now it's a question marks all over. This is the most exciting form of cricket and uh, the most exciting form of cricket also gives us this extremely exciting end and that is the super over. Both the innings, both the sides will have one over each and now the question is who will be the bowler for Ireland, who will be the three batsmen being nominated by Afghanistan. Nonetheless, it's been a super end and it promises to be a super end of the Islamic Bank of Afghanistan Cup 2020. Hashtag peace all over. But at the moment, it's entertainment all over. And it's been that kind of cricket where the fans have been delighted with some blitzkriegs by the Afghanistan batsmen towards the end. We head into a short break. When we come back, we come back with all the excitement from the super over.
The Islamic Bank of Afghanistan Cup 2020. Have a look at that batting card. Gurbaz 42, Ghani 18. But the last man there, Rashid Khan, 14 of 6 balls. And ensuring that there is no defeat for Afghanistan. But it is a super over. Both the teams ending up with similar scores. Two wickets for Delaney and uh, Singh. A wicket apiece for McCarthy, Little and Young. 20 overs, 142 for 7 in Afghanistan. And what is to be followed now is the all-exciting Super over. Ireland won the toss, decided to bat first, got 142 for the loss of 8 wickets. Delaney scored 37 runs. Uh, Navin and Kess, uh, the debutant, picked up 3 wickets. And while chasing, Afghanistan also scored 142 for the loss of 7 wickets. Gurbaz 42, Afghan 32. Delaney and Singh uh, picking up 2 wickets apiece. Joining me in the call box for the special over, for the special Super over is Devendra Kumar. Devendra. Good afternoon, good evening now. Oh, what an end this is for the IBA Cup. Well, Rashid Khan making sure that the, the match will be decided on the Super Over. Gurbaz, he can strike the cricket ball really well. Played some delightful shots. Mohamed Nabi has come out to bat. And uh, into his 10th match, 332 runs. But he's been in good form, striking runs uh, consistently in this series. Mohamed Nabi. Mohamed Nabi will give him the company at the age of 35 all the experience of handling the pressure situations and that's why they decided to go with Mohamed Nabi they had a little bit of discussion with H.T. Ackerman who should go to open the betting but this is the moment Afghanistan how many from from this over Craig Young has been given the responsibility at the age of 29 first ball doesn't get the timing doesn't get the timing single of the first oh good bowling there good start by Craig Young outside the off stump Yorker and Gurbaz not able to make a connection onto that one. But he'll find himself unlucky. That could have easily run down to the third man boundary. But it took a lot of meat on the bat. And in comes the experienced senior personnel of Afghanistan, Mohamed Nabi. Young is the bowler and Nabi the experience on a strike. They need a boundary. He gets a full toss and hammers it through the onside. There is a protection on the boundary. And it's only single. Two runs of the first two deliveries. Uh, good start this by Ireland. First two deliveries, only two runs. And have a look at the crowd. And this is what you call Pesa Vasool. They have come here for an exciting match. And they have been given an exciting match. Thanks to two brilliant teams. One is Ireland and the other team which is loved across the world. And more so in India, that's Afghanistan. Well, fought against the wish of his parents, he decided to become a cricketer. This is the opportunity to become the hero of Afghanistan. One or two blows here can determine the popularity chart of his in Afghanistan. A little change there in the field, asking the fielder at the square region to go slightly squarer there. He likes to hit down the ground, he can hit 360. The crowd is waiting in nervous anticipation. What's on offer? Swivel, he gets it fine, but not quite fine. Three runs of the first three deliveries. It's uh, not the kind of start that Afghanistan wanted in this over. Absolutely not, Devinder. Absolutely not. That's definitely not the kind of start that they would have hoped for when they went out to bat. There was a nice long discussion in the dugout. Those Lance Klusner, the batting coach, the entire one uh, were there. Always question is, the one who hit the last ball for a boundary, Rashid Khan, why did he not come out to bat but the questions will always be there in the meanwhile bouncer pulled away in the air is that a chance no it's not on the bounce again just two runs Ireland will not be disappointed with, the, with, with that they'll be happy because first four deliveries only five runs scored on the other hand they will be thinking about how about sending the uh, Najibullah Jadran maybe to open the betting with Gurbaz but uh, it's a senior pro once again getting the top edge and two more runs to the total so now four Four runs scored. Boundary from where Nabi has to produce two deliveries to go. Two big boundaries needed here. They got Kevin O'Brien and Paul Sterling to chase that. So it's, it's a huge moment in play. Will Afghanistan maintain this winning run against Ireland? Or will there be the opportunity for Irish players to register first victory after seven years? Azgar Afghan, he's nervous. He hasn't got the ball uh, rolling across square. He's checking with, was that a bouncer, Mohamed Nabi? From the umpire, square leg umpire, he's urging that that was the first bouncer. It's not given by the umpire. 
four balls, five runs. Now we're biting on three of just two deliveries. In comes Craig Young again from the pavilion end. Not quite getting the timing. Single won't be enough. They will settle for a single. This has been a magnificent bowling performance from Craig Young. Oh, magnificent. Splendid so far. Use all the adjectives possible. He's been brilliant, Craig Young. To Gurbaz and Nabi. Two big hitters. First five deliveries, only six runs. Can he end it well? Third man up in the circle, finally up in the circle. Gurbaz has a strike. He gets it over the top of extra cover. They got the fielder there on the boundary. And they settle for a single. Once the second run, throw to the keepers. And the stumps are broken. And it's been referred to the third umpire. This has been a superb, superb over in the super over from Craig Young. Oh, brilliant bowling this. Not a single boundary of the super over. Let's have a look at that. And yes, it looks like uh, he might be short. We'll still wait for the decision coming in from uh, the TV umpire. Six runs of the first five deliveries. So they definitely have got seven runs. If that's not out, it's going to be eight. But it's not going to be a heavy ask for the Irish batsmen. They'll be happy walking back in the dugout. Not so much happiness in uh, the Afghanistan dugout. Ireland, the Irish men have been waiting for seven years to defeat Afghanistan in a T20 international game. It's still being referred to the TV umpire. TV umpire is taking his time because that one run can be extremely crucial in a T20 game. And this is a super over from a different angle. Let's have a look at that from this angle. It looks like the batsman is just short. It looks like that. Let's see what uh, the TV umpire, one frame there, one run. And it's extremely important, crucial run there. This looks uh, very interesting. One run matters. It matters big time, but they will have to make this judgment at this, this juncture of the game. Is that out? Is that not out? Waiting for it, the confirmation from the third umpire. Yes, the TV umpire is taking his time. In the meanwhile, it's Afghanistan who have uh, made their out way out in uh, the field. Who will be the bowler? Will be the question. And who are going to be the three batsmen from Ireland? Well, Kevin O'Brien, he's been betting well. And uh, Paul Sterling and Andrew Balburn, he maybe they, they send uh, Harry Tector in there. That will be the option. That is the discussion. But this the judgment that will be made by the third umpire. Touch and go. It's a very, very tough task to be a third umpire. Absolutely, Devinder. It's a tough call there for the TV umpire. He's taking his time. It's a question for that one run. It was a decent throw, good collection by the wicket keeper. The split of the bales. And let's see, this is the moment for that extra run. And that's a green light. So that'll be not out. So that's two runs of uh, the last ball. But still, it'll be Ireland who will be pleased with their performance in the Super Over. With Rob Cashel, the, the, the coach, or head coach of the Irish team, designating the who, who will be the batsman, the, the openers, and also the first down. Who will be the bowler? Rashid Khan. He protected nine runs from the over against Bangladesh in T20 series from the final over in 2018 in the month of June at uh, Rajiv Gandhi Stadium in Dehradun. Or are thinking about using Kesh Ahmed. He also has the experience of bowling well in T20. I don't think they're going to use the fast bowler here. Uh, it has to be uh, Rashid Khan because Gurbaz, the wicketkeeper, is also coming up with the helmet. It has to be experience. It has to be class. And uh, nine is the target for Ireland. To defend uh, that target, you need uh, your most experienced bowler, the most successful bowler. Top of uh, the ICC T20 rankings for the best bowler is Rashid Khan. Nine is the target. And meanwhile, the umpires are ready. Afghanistan fielders are into their drill. Lance Klusner, their coach, having a quick word 
with their team. The Irish batsmen are still not seen. Well, Kevin O'Brien, he, he will certainly be there too. Nine to win and a lot of talk between Azgir Afghan and, and senior pros there. Karim, Karim Janat, maybe Rashid Khan, Muzibur Rahman. No, he's conceding runs here. But that judgment of not sending Rashid Khan who struck vital boundaries to not open the batting. That was a crucial decision to make. But this is the moment about this deciding who should be bowling this over. Rashid Khan has done it before. That's the super over not getting connection of the very first delivery. So first four deliveries were absolutely on target and getting the full toss that could have been deposited to the boundary had they had a set batsman, a batsman who batted a bit and then Gurba is trying to just work through uh, swinging it across and not quite making the connection. Then getting the top is not many runs there on the twos. Did not get any boundary, did not get any boundary, did not get the timing. That was a superb, superb over from Craig Young. And getting it over the field, but straight to the fielder. And then completing that run, according to the umpire. So nine runs to win for Ireland to break this streak of losses. Who should be the bowler? That is the discussion. The discussion continues about who should be the number three batsman for, for Ireland. Will that be Law, Lorcan Tucker, Harry Tector, or somebody else? He's smiling. So Kevin O'Brien, he's already paid it up. And he, who else? Maybe the Paul Sterling. Paul Sterling. So final minute uh, instructions given to, to the batsman. Now the captain is waiting who comes out. They will decide according to him. They haven't decided as yet, that's for sure. Yes, there's uh, Tector who's also padded up. So you think that Paul Sterling is not going to come up? It looks like Paul Sterling is also padded up. So these might be the three batsmen. We'll still wait uh, for a confirmation. So there's uh, Kevin O'Brien who has to be there. We just saw in that uh, previous frame. Paul Sterling, there we go. Perfect frame right in the middle is Paul Sterling. There's Tector, there's Paul Sterling, and there is Kevin O'Brien. So it looks like Kevin O'Brien and Paul Sterling, the openers of Ireland, to open as well, and two of the biggest hitters in uh, the Irish team. Well, barring, barring uh, today's match, they, they've been able to st start uh, really well. Navid Ulhak had the ball for a while, but uh, the decision is not ma made as yet. So now, Kevin O'Brien and Paul Sterling to come, and Rashid Khan has been given this task of once again registering a win for his side. Under pressure, he bowled really well, economic throughout the tournament. Can he win the match for one more time for his side? He has the most uh, senior bowler. And he's a legend of uh, T20 cricket across uh, the world. Plays all possible formats, all possible leagues across the world. But can he defend eight runs against these two power hitters? Kevin O'Brien and Paul Sterling. Nine to win from Ireland from uh, the six deliveries. Temperament, he has the temperament to, to finish the matches here. Especially Rashid Khan because he looked nerv nervous when he produced those vital shots to get the draw. So Paul is telling and Kevin O'Brien. Kevin O'Brien is there. He's marking the guard, Kevin O'Brien. Paul is telling he's on honest strike. This is an interesting decision. The 36-year-old Paul Sterling. He'll be facing, uh, and along with him is the 36-year-old Paul Sterling. So got some experience there, 39 and 36-year-olds. And Rashid Khan, the bowler. Rashid, Rashid. Got on the boundary, mid wicket on the boundary, long on the boundary, man at the sweeper on the boundary, and long off, over extra cover maybe. He hits it down the ground, that's gone high up in the air. Where's the fielder? The fielder might not reach there. One bounce to him, and the single conceded of the very first delivery. And Sterling will have a strike now. Oh, what a start this for uh, the Super Over. Rashid Khan nicely tossing it up. And as expected, Kevin O'Brien, pardon me, it was Paul's. Yes, Kevin O'Brien there going for the big heave on the leg side with the top edge, but the ball falling in no man's land. Four fielders on the leg side, three fielders, pardon me, out of the 30 yard circle, a short fine leg but the ball falling in no man's land. First runs on the board and it's going to be Paul Sterling on strike now. 
Nervous smiles. Gets That's in it. the slot. He is hammered it away from that fielder. One bounce for four. Four runs for Paul Sterling. And now it definitely is Ireland who are on the brink of making a history. It's been seven years since Ireland have beaten Afghanistan in this format. But it looks like right now they are the favorites. Five runs already. So four runs required from four Rashid, balls. Rashid. A runner ball. And uh, Rashid Khan under the pump. This is the moment to produce a wicket taking delivery. Gets in the slot. Sal for LBW. He's taken the wicket. Rashid Khan. The magician has provided them the wicket that they needed. The wrong one. Exactly what was what the doctor ordered right now for Afghanistan. Have a look at that again. Nicely tossed up. He was deep in the crease there. The wrong one. And uh, the finger has been raised. Paul Sterling will have to walk back. And it's five for one. Pressure now on Ireland because if they lose another wicket, that will be game set match for Afghanistan. Paul Sterling has to walk back for four runs. LBW bold Rashid Khan. They are five for one. Ireland now require four of the remaining three deliveries. He's a genius. He's a genius. That's why he's respected all around the globe for his ability to bowl well under pressure. He chose that option of bowling the wrong one, though he likes bowling the wrong one. But at that particular moment, when the batsman was looking to go big, he has produced an accurate delivery. Under pressure, he has responded. Can respond one more time. Three deliveries to go through. Harry Tector has come out to bat at the age of 20. He's been scoring runs in this tournament. One wicket and it's all over. Look at this one. Right in there, within these terms. Missing it by a mile. Paul Sterling searching for that. That sweep shot that he's been so successful. Playing against Afghanistan and scoring runs. But not today. This is the moment. Can he produce a wicket here? He's shouting. Has the stumping been affected? It's been referred to the third umpire. Rashid Khan once again. Oh, what a delivery. Very difficult to face him on the first ball. And that to under some pressure. The wrong one, nicely collected by the wicketkeeper. And uh, the bales were dislodged. Let's see in uh, the TV replay there. Let's have a look at the front line. That's a fair delivery. Good work there by the senior experienced Rashid Khan. Let's have a look at that now uh, with the other angle. It's a big appeal. And if that is a wicket, it's going to be game for uh, Afghanistan. Have a look at that. He'll go nice and slow. The back leg is in. The bales have been dislodged. Oh. oh tough call again. The TV umpire, the third umpire, has had a lot of work today. A lot of pressure that he has been put in. But this time, it's a green light again. Not out, but more importantly, it's a dot ball. So, two balls, four runs to win. Another super over. Is there a possibility of another super over here? They're sending the fieldsman Karim Janath station at the short final agrees and this is the delivery searching for the big shot. He heaves it, but not quite making the connection. Searching for two. Throw towards the keeper's hand. They settle for one. Last delivery. Three runs to win for Ireland. Two to tie. And AP picks up a wicket or just gives a single. It's win for Afghanistan. All three results possible here. Uh, we're having another super over. Three runs required of one. If Ireland gets three, it's victory for them. One run victory for Afghanistan. Two run means the Super Over will continue. Oh, what action on the final day of the Islamic Bank of Afghanistan Cup 2020. Hashtag peace all over. But here it's nervousness, pressure all over. It's Rashid Khan to the senior pro, Kevin O'Brien. Kevin O'Brien. Can Kevin O'Brien break his streak of losses here? He gets the ball. He hits it high up in the air. The catch should be taken. Will that be? Won't that be? Kill? Oh, that's a six. That is a six. Win for Ireland. Kevin O'Brien has produced the moment that they've been waiting for years. Kevin O'Brien, the hero once again in the World Cup in 2011 against England. And now once again, he has produced the shot. Magical connection. The fielder thought there was this this moment of taking the catch but clearing the boundary with quite a distance no chance for Kesh Ahmad it's win for Ireland and it's Kevin O'Brien who has produced it it's a rare failure in the super over for Rashid Khan but there we go the senior pro 
one of the biggest names in Irish cricket and that's Kevin O'Brien finishes it off in style and after seven years Ireland have defeated Afghanistan and what an end to the Islamic Bank of Afghanistan Cup 2020 this is what we wanted and both these champion teams have delivered the series belongs to Afghanistan but the final match the third T20 international belongs to Ireland mighty deserving but the champions of the series definitely Afghanistan well who would have thought at the moment when they get about 142 uh, in 20 overs after winning the toss and betting first everyone was thinking the kind of start they got uh, Afghanistan in the betting department but it wasn't up to the mark the middle order collapsed Gurba is getting 42 of 20 9 18 for Ghani once again getting good start then 17 and 32 and then then Simi Singh coming in and changing the course of the action with McCarthy and Yang producing some fine overs under pressure only five extras so disciplined they were in the middle overs, Mac McCarthy and Yang in particular. In 20 overs, they managed 142 for seven. The match was forced into the super over, but before that, Gen Gen Lee picking up two for 21. One wicket for McCarthy, only one wicket, but boy, bowled superbly in the middle over, got the ball to swing around. And Simi Singh getting those vital two wickets. Wicket for Josh Mitchell, he bowled superbly in his second spell. And Craig Yang once again delivering that super over, only eight runs he conceded in the super over and Kevin O'Brien this out the performance match summary Ireland winning the toss betting first 142 on betting surface uh, generally getting 37 of 29 Navinu Lak once again the start of the show with three for 21 three wickets for the debutant in the chase the match ended in a tie which was one courtesy that the Q6 from Kevin O'Brien so the series goes to Afghanistan two matches to one we take a short break and we'll be back with the presentation very very shortly